and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sky, and my husband Chad and I own an online interior decor shop called House and Home. And over on this channel, we love to share all things home from DIYs to decor hauls, decorating ideas, and so much more. Today's video is a master bedroom refresh. So I have taken down all of my holiday decor and I am redecorating my bedroom. And I'm so excited to share this with you all. I'm gonna be using some different colors that I typically don't use. Actually, I don't think I have anywhere else in my home. So I'm branching out a little bit. It's definitely still my style, still fairly neutral. And in this space, I really like to keep things just um, calming and serene. I have learned a lot about a master bedroom over the years and I really, really like for this to be just a retreat for my husband and I and a place that we can come into at the end of a long day and just feel relaxed and I am really excited to show you guys how I'm gonna be doing that. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing how you can refresh a space, or in particular a bedroom, on a budget. So there's going to be several different little tips that I'm gonna be kind of sprinkling throughout this video that I have found to be helpful when I'm wanting to switch up a space but I'm not wanting to break the bank. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna give you a quick little bedroom tour and show you what this space looks like basically bare with almost everything taken down and then I will bring you along as I decorate. So here is our bedroom bear. I've taken down everything except for our staple pieces. Of course, our lamps and my bedding and then the TV above the fireplace and our mirror and this in the morning sign. You guys know I love it so much. We used to sell it in our shop and I just love having it out on the table. So I decided to keep that there for now but I wanted to give you guys just a nice little panoramic view of this space before we start decorating so you can see what we're working with. So this is kind of my decor stash. I always love to show you guys how I gather everything together before I start decorating a space in my home. I love to do this because it really gives me an idea of what I'm working with and what I have so that I can kind of just create a vision or get an idea of what I want this space to look like based on the colors and textures and different pieces that I'm going to be working with. I also picked up a new mirror which is the floor version of the mirror that we have in our living room. And I am so excited about this next piece, you guys. Oh, I just love Cottonwood Shanty Scrolls. They are my absolute favorite, and this one fits so perfectly over our bed. So I am so excited to share that the sweet owner of Cottonwood Shanty, Alyssa, has uh, just so graciously decided to partner with me for a giveaway, and we're gonna be giving away one beautiful scroll of your choice from her website, which I'll show some of the many options that she has on her website here. There are pages and pages of different scroll designs, so there's so many different ones to choose from. To enter the giveaway, you will just need to head over to our Instagram, which will be linked in the description below, find this post, like it, and follow House and Home, follow Cottonwood Shanty, and tag a friend in the description below. The winner will be announced here in the video description and on Instagram on Saturday. I did grab a new pillow from Target. I love this pillow. I actually have it in the charcoal version downstairs in our living room. It's so pretty. And I decided to branch out of my norm and get this beautiful blush pink throw. Now the opposite side is a tan color and I'm going to show you this styled two different ways. I love this basket so much. Many of you have seen I actually have one in our dining room as well and it was a, another Target find and same as these stems. So I'm incorporating a new color if you will. Still subtle, still neutral and very cozy but perfect for transitioning into spring. 
One of the things that has been most helpful to me when refreshing spaces in my home on a budget is finding my kind of core staple decor pieces that I can use in my home year round and I can either add different things to them or style them a different way or move them into a different room of my home to make them feel new and fresh and exciting. So I start with these staple pieces, my trays, my baskets, my little pots and planters, my candle holders, my non-holiday specific greens and plants. I start with those pieces and then I can see, okay, what spaces do I need to add a little pop of color to? What little spaces do I want to add some texture to? What do I need to complete? this space for whatever season I'm refreshing it for and so for me I'm transitioning kind of my decor in my home from holiday seasonal winter to spring so I'm adding in some plants this I purchased at Trader Joe's for about ten dollars and thought that would be perfect I'm bringing back my corbels and putting those on this table we sell those in our shop and they are stunning I absolutely love them and then I have my bedding set so I purposefully purchased a bedding set that is very neutral. It's like starting over with a blank slate without having to purchase that expensive duvet and your pillow covers and all of that each season. And I just add on a little either pop of color with a throw pillow, a throw blanket, I'll add a tray to my bed and I will add in some different stems and just make it feel appropriate for the season. But I don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money because I already have the bedding. I likely already have a throw pillow or a blanket and then I already have a tray. Maybe I'm borrowing it from my coffee table downstairs and then switching up that decor, or maybe I'm borrowing it from my dining table. If you haven't noticed already, decor floats all over my home because I really try to find those pieces that are multi-use and multifunctional. One of my most tried and true tips for decorating your home on a budget is just to shop your home. You may be surprised what you find. Here is kind of phase one of this space and how this turned out after my initial decorating. So I often find myself decorating a space and then coming back to it. Maybe after I've just sat with it for a couple of days or maybe even just a couple of hours and realized, you know what, maybe I need to add a little bit more here or maybe I want to swap this piece out with something different. So I'm going to share here in just a minute what my kind of final phase was of this space and I am so pleased with it. I think it looks so cute and perfect and serene and exactly the vision that I had going in right away. So I do have a lot of different cozy elements of course with different um, textures, lots of baskets, lots of greenery, lots of different throw blankets and such but this is where I landed and I love it. So I added a few of those same little wild berry stems to the top of my scroll which I think adds the perfect finishing touch up there. And then I moved my big floor mirror to the left side of the bed and oh my goodness I feel like it really finishes this space off and it definitely has more of a 
cozy cottage or French country look to it. And I am just so obsessed. I also threw an extra throw pillow on the bed. I felt like just the one single square wasn't enough. And so I threw on our lumbar tassel pillow, which is in our shop. And I love all of it. I think it just is so cozy. And I just want to jump on those pillows. It just looks so inviting and relaxing. I hope you all enjoyed this one and that it gave you a little home decor inspiration. I look forward to seeing you all next Saturday for some house and home new arrivals. Make sure you head over to our Instagram page at house and home to enter our giveaway so that you can win a scroll of your own. I hope you guys have the best day and I'll see you on Saturday.